Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and today I am finally back with a new video and I am so excited. I know I've had a bit of a break here on my channel and I do apologize for that, but between Easter with the family, getting ready for a big trip, and then actually going on vacation to the East Coast to celebrate our one year anniversary, me and Christopher have been pretty busy these days, but I finally have some time to film and I literally cannot wait to get back into it. So thank you guys for sticking with me and I hope that you're excited as well. I've got some fun stuff on the way. But today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to share with you a thrifted shoe haul. And I found some goodies. Let me just kind of show you guys the bin next to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there's actually a little for me and a little for you. I found some really awesome shoes that I'm going to be putting up in my Poshmark closet because I just couldn't leave them behind. I knew that they were either not my size or something that I wouldn't wear, but one of you guys will totally love them. So I'll start it off by showing you what I got for Poshmark, and then we'll dive into the shoes that I got for myself. And also, what I wanna know from you guys, because I hear it quite often, is that you tend to stay away from thrifting shoes um, just because of the cleanliness factor. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video about how I clean my shoes, especially the ones that I resell, please let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. I know that there are some other videos out there, so if you feel like you already have that information, that's cool. <laughs> but if you want to hear it from me, I'm happy to share those tips, so just make sure to let me know. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the haul. So like I said, we're going to kick it off with the shoes that I found that are going to be going into my Poshmark closet. And the first pair literally kills me that they are not my size. So what they are, are these really awesome vintage inspired, I think they're Ms. Moots in New York City is how you say it. But just these amazing ankle strap little heels with that chunky heel there but I saw them and immediately zeroed in on them. I think that the print is really cool on here. I love that they're nude and black so you can wear them with so many things. And then just the retro style. Like you guys know I am into that pinup style right now. These would have been an amazing addition to my closet, but alas, they are too big for me. They are an eight and a half and they're called the Weatherly, but I just think that these are so cool. So if you're an eight and a half and you're kind of into that vintage pinup rockabilly style, these ones are for you. So next up is a pair of shoes that is actually my size, but not quite my style, but I literally could not leave them behind. So what they are, are these really awesome Lucky Brand Peep Toe Cutout Booties. Like how amazing are these for this time of year when you want kind of that booty look? but you don't want to have an entirely covered shoe and you want to show off that cute petty. Like, I feel you, girl. I get you. You spent $30 on that pedicure. Show it off. Rock these shoes. I get it. <laughs> so, of course, I had to get them. They are so cool with this little tie detail in the back, the chunky wooden heel, the fact that they're leather. Like, I just fell in love with those. But again, they're a little more boho, kind of that vibe that I'm not really into, but I still really appreciate and I know someone is just going to fall in love with these. So last set for shoes that I'm going to be putting in my Poshmark closet is a classic and that is this pair of Calvin Klein nude round toe pumps with the patent leather chunky heel. Like stop it. How Kate Middleton are these? I can't even. <laughs> like they are just so feminine and will get you through so many different outfits, especially for the spring and summer when you don't really want black, you want a little bit of a lighter tone just so it's not so heavy. And this kind of color is great because if you're wearing a shorter skirt and you pop on a nude heel, it makes your leg look a million miles long. It's literally a fact. <laughs> like you can hold me to that. So I just saw them and thought those are just a great every day. Some career woman out there is going to love them. So if you're seven and a half and you're interested in these, I'll make sure to leave all the information to my Poshmark closet in the down bar below. All right, so now we'll go ahead and jump into all of these shoes that I've thrifted for myself lately, and I'm so happy to share that I've got five pairs to show you guys, all different styles, and I'm so excited for all of them. So the first ones that I got are these black aerosol sandals. And I really try my best during the summer to not wear any kind of flip-flop or super 
flat sandal especially if I'm gonna be out for the day because that's just so bad for you to walk around in for extended amounts of time so I try to get something that has a little bit of cushion a little bit of support just because I'm in my 30s now and that's just a necessity <laughs> these and I knew that they'd be a great fit for the summertime and they were less than eight dollars from Weep Work so I was super excited to get them. So next up is the most colorful pair of shoes that I'll be showing you guys today and that is this pair of Franco Sarto flats that I got at Deseret Industries. So I came across these and I was so excited because Franco Sarto is a really good brand. I know I see them for quite a bit at places like Macy's and other department stores. So I got these for only four bucks which is just awesome especially because I just love a pair of colorful heels or flats because when you wear them with something basic, say I pop them on with this outfit today, everything else is pretty casual. You put on a little bit of color and everyone's like, oh my God, she's like pulled together. <laughs> like she has this whole outfit planned. When really you're just putting on a pair of blue flats and you just look instantly more fashionable. So this is just such a great find and I know I'm gonna wear these a ton. So the next pair of shoes I've literally had on my thrift wish list forever. Forever! And a day like so long and now I can finally check them off the list and I'm so jazzed about that so what I'm talking about is this pair of saddle shoes like how precious I know they look a little bit like golf shoes and you guys are probably like what on earth but I like this more for when I'm doing kind of the vintage inspired outfits and I need something that's a little more like 50s and preppy so I had to get these, of course, they're in great condition, they were less than $10, and honestly, I know that these are going to come in handy on so many different occasions. So last up for this haul are a couple pair of sneakers that I found, and the first ones are so cool, I can't even. So what they are is this pair of Naturalizer little slip-on platforms. But what I fell in love with is that color. It's like a rose gold metallic. Like, I die. <laughs> like, I saw them up on the rack above the clothes, and I was just like, what? I won't need those. And luckily, they were my size. They fit so nicely. They look maybe like they were worn a couple of times, but not too much, which is great. The inside is totally clean. Love that. And they were less than 10 doll hairs. They were only 8 doll hairs, which I think is great for a pair of almost new sneakers that I know I'm going to wear a lot. And again, I fell in love with the fact that they are super squishy. They're my naturalizer. So literally, it feels like you're walking on a pillow or on a cloud, whatever you prefer. But like I said earlier, I'm just over <laughs> not having comfortable shoes. I think that's what your 20s are for. Rock the blisters, carry your shoes out in your hand after a night at the club. But into your 30s and beyond, no. Mama wants comfort. I don't want any more blisters. I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> like I will do anything I can to avoid it. So when I find things like this, I just grab them and go because I know that I'm going to be comfortable and be able to walk forever and that is awesome. <laughs> So last up is by far my favorite pair of shoes from this entire haul and I think it's going to surprise you guys what they look like but I will explain why they're my favorite. So what they are is this pair of New Balance sneakers black on black. They're the 247. I'm not sure the name of them but that's the number that's on them. But I actually got these on Poshmark shortly before me and Christopher left for Massachusetts. We went to Boston. Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, all around there, and I knew that I needed a good pair of shoes to walk around in. And I wanted something that would go with a lot of different tops, something more casual, something a little bit more, you know, girly and feminine. And I kind of checked out Pinterest and just searched, you know, black sneakers outfit and got some ideas for what I would wear. So I came across these, got them for only 19 bucks on Poshmark, which is awesome. And I am not kidding when I say, they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I have ever worn in my life. Like, I had to give them an appreciation post on my Instagram stories because I was just like, we walked over 20 miles in four days and I had no issues whatsoever. No blisters, no cuts, no pain at the end of the day. Like, I die. I love you. You are the best. Thank you. <laughs> 
Alright you guys, well that's going to do it for today's thrifted shoe haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to let me know what your favorite pair was in the comments below or how you would style it with an outfit. I always love hearing from you. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting.